Good afternoon, Emmanuel. It is good to be able to share a few thoughts with you. Um, Lynn and I have, for lots of years, not perfectly, um, tried in the mornings to memorize God's Word together. And right now we're working through Psalm 27. And I'm not going to try to recite it for you because I would fail and uh, I certainly uh, don't want to embarrass myself too badly. But I want to share something that's come out of this passage with you today uh, by way of just encouragement. It's, uh, it's a Psalm of David and he says this, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When evildoers assail me to eat up my flesh, my adversaries and foes, it is they who stumble and fall. Though an army encamps against me, my heart shall not fear. The war rise up against me, yet I will be confident. One thing I've asked of the Lord that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to inquire at his temple. For he will hide me in the shelter, in his shelter, sorry, in the day of trouble. I've been struck by this psalm where David speaks of, of peril and danger. He starts describing you know, an enemy that's going to eat his flesh. He, he describes it as though there's a, an army against him, that, that war is rising against him. And then he, then he turns really to the, the issue of prayer. And this is where I've, been, where I've been challenged, where I've had to kind of stop in these days because in many ways we're living in some very unique times, some things that are, that are scary, I, I'm sure, to many of us. And so I've kind of been imagining in some ways that, that there's an, an enemy against us, that there's, there's an army encamped against me. And my, my question is, what will I pray for right now? And there's where I've been struck by what David says. He says, one thing. There's one thing I'm going to ask of God. Now, I don't know how you would answer that question. If you had an army encamped against you, if you had war kind of right around you, I think I'd be asking, like, God, deliver me. God, send an army to save me. God, get rid of these things. God, God, save me, spare me, all those kind of thoughts. That's how I tend to pray. And in all honesty, over these last days and weeks, I found my thoughts going there at different times. David doesn't. Notice what he prays. There's one thing that I've asked of the Lord, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I love the implication of it. He works it out in verse 5. It's almost like David knows, if I have that, the Lord's going to take care of everything else. If I am with him, then he'll hide me in his shelter. I don't need to worry about trouble. I can have confidence when I know I'm with him. Now, I don't know how you and your family go about um, praying together, what your disciplines are. I think we're in a kind of unique time where many of our schedules and rhythms of life have been sort of upended. Maybe one of the things you might consider doing is just sort of rethinking not just what you're praying, but even how you're praying. Are you praying at meals? There's nothing nothing magical about it, but it's a great thing to do as a family or as a couple or even as an individual. Are you praying at bedtime? Whether you're praying with your kids or, or husbands praying with your wives or even just on your own, praying for those things. And then next, what are you praying for? That's been my challenge, a little bit of the admonition in my own life of, of Psalm 27. Am I praying for that one thing that matters more than anything else, that I would be in the presence of God, knowing that if I'm there, everything else is going to be okay. That was just one of the things I wanted to share with you today. The other thing I want to share with you is a resource um, that we have found helpful, not just in the last days or even weeks, but one of the things we've been kind of wrestling with and, and looking into over the last year a ministry that's called the Grace Alliance. And they're a Christian ministry that's trying to help in the area of, of mental health. And we've had lots of discussions around this in these last days of, of how, we, how we talk through and think through anxiety and fear and worry. And we're going to try to get some resources to you to have uh, not just for yourselves, but perhaps for your families. But we want to just be able to share a link with you today that's going to take you to uh, some of the resources that the Grace Alliance has put online for free uh, just in the last few days. So one of their workbooks they've made available, you can download that and work through it. And they've also got some great videos that they're posting uh, on their Facebook channel, as well as some free uh, web seminars that they're putting up. And so uh, we're going to have those there for you. Please uh, encourage your heart and your family um, with just the knowledge that your God is able to save, that he is able to help, 
And that if we pursue him, that one thing, that we would be a people devoted to that one thing, that we would dwell with him all the days of our lives and, and gaze upon his beauty because we know he is beautiful. Let me pray for you today. Father, thank you for the encouragement of your word. Thank you for its truth. Thank you for its beauty that directs our thoughts, that, that instructs our souls. Father, would you help us be a church that has that singular focus and passion that you would strip away our fears, that our confidence could be in you, that we would be a people who long to be in your presence. Father, as we come before you as families, as couples, as individuals in our time of prayer, would you meet us there? And Father, in our anxieties and fears and concerns, would you do a great work of ministry in our hearts? Thank you for wonderful tools that are available to us, wonderful people and resources that we have. Thank you that we could be a church family together. In Christ's name, amen.